fought well. Oh man, there's an emote in your chat that is not a skull. Oh, also several that are, but lovely. I don't know what the actual I skull have emotes no are. No idea what most of these emotes are. They are very memey, though. They are extremely. Yeah, memey. I'm really not happy with the hitbox emotes. There's one that looks like a steak. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, I think that's a. What's its name? Uh, the the asshole meme. This one, yeah. It's the the <laughs> scumbag Steve. That's it. Um, okay, <laughs> I might just keep like the poop. lightning bolt and the blood fen raptor and hope for something better than lava burst by turn three. Sounds good to me. I think that's my choice. <laughs> I, I agree with JS Blue 3, the asshole meme, aka all of them. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> also, yeah, now I got some turn three plays here. This is this is the hand of champions right now. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Um, I want to play the narrow bar next turn, unless yeah. they coin out something. Like, unless they... Alright, yeah, I'm playing now, the narrow crucially, bar. Crucially, this is an important fact about narrow bar weblord. Cards that read combo do not count as battle cry, because yes. they do not have the word battle cry on them. Yep, it only affects battle cry. So. Same thing with the druids choose one things. They do not read battle cry so they don't count which um okay i am gonna get some stormforged value here beautiful i'm already liking this <laughs> this is this is a good start yeah, yeah i love the narrow bar shit lord screws up so many people's plays i also don't think this should affect my turn four just because i don't have anything for turn four right now He's also given me something to lightning bolt. <laughs> oh my god. This That's is a nice start. Good. It's kind of a slow start, but I like it. Um, this is going to be lightning bolt totem. Oh, you could also mm -hmm. uh, weblord axe the, the grizzly down and feral spirits if you just wanted more creatures. Mm -hmm. And that would be more damage next turn, possibly. I think the, the lightning bolt on the grizzly is a better play, though. I think so. Because then we get to have uh, football on time, and that's ex actually we don't. Never mind. Because this this also is a. Oh God! I've got the healing myself. totem out. Oh, that's beautiful. The healing totem is very good against the rogue because it pretty much nullifies the rogue's hero ability. Okay, Taz Dingo. Yes. It's a good guy. He's a powerful guy. He's a nice guy. I, li I like him, especially. Um. Do you want to shoot him anyway? I'm probably going to bolt and axe him, and at this point, I'm between the Blood Fen and the Feral Spirits, but I kind of like the Blood Fen more because that means I can put out the Venture Co Mercenary next turn. Hmm. It also means Totem this turn. Yes. Uh, oh, wait. It? No, it no, doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Unfortunately. Yeah, I I still like the Bloodfen Raptor play though, especially because I only have one damage on the board right now. <laughs> yeah, well, like Nerobar Weblord is heroic in stopping people's plans. You have to you have to have something to back him up. Exactly. And well, you know, Vedraco Mercenary can be that in himself. <laughs> I would also like to point out that when I play the Vedraco Mercenary, assuming that the Nerobar Weblord isn't about to die. My Dark Iron Dwarf is going to cost nine. Um, hmm, Chill Wind Yeti. I think I should just trade into that, take the four damage to the face, throw out a Venture Co, and let the fun begin. I wonder. I think so. Venture Co is pretty huge. I think I'll trade the Yeti because it's it's a one card trade, and my Stormforged Axe is going to get him pure value at this point. Yeah, look at that 9 cross Dark Iron Dwarf <laughs> right there. Beautiful. And as has been pointed out, I just traded 2 2 manas for a 4 mana, and the Yeti is like the best card to play in the mid game. He's so. tough. He is a hard guy to, to beat. He says so much health. Oh, hello there, Assassin's Blade. Oh, is he finally going to get rid of the Weblord? <laughs> <laughs> Rip healing totem. Doop a doop. 
What you got? You got a coin. Do we have like deadly coin. poison? You deadly? Yep. He deadly poisoned. Oh my god! I want my ooze so badly right now. Okay, I'm. I am so sorry. Let's have fun. <laughs> Uh, five mana ooze? Uh, yes. Sounds ooze good to me. and totem and I... <laughs> just, just crush him. Do anything you want. I think... <laughs> I think that the weblord into the... Uh, actually, yeah, weblord, now that I have the healing totem, what, uh, what call it? Ventrico into is a very good turn. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Ugh. Uh, Trevor plays. I think there are highlights, but I don't think I'm recording, and I think you need to be recording. Oh, hello there, Hex Target. <laughs> oh god, this dude. Oh. I'm like, I'm actually sorry, because I have had every single answer in my hand <laughs> so far. That's not gonna work. Uh. <laughs> it's, yeah. What you gonna do to that? I will keep the Feral Spirits for now in case I need some cover a little later when the board's a bit more dangerous. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to be feel bad. Dot deck. Uh, next turn, just draw Bloodlust and kill him. Ah, uh, if only. Yeah, this this is one. This is the one time I felt bad about. Oh wait, that. did we actually pick something other than blood? We, we didn't did. pick blood. We we, I think we picked ooze that turn. That was the <laughs> and, uh... Oh man, I've been calling for a card that you don't actually have in your deck. Eh. Always call. Oh, oh, look at this guy! Wow, look at that value. Um, Shadow step. That, he removed another damage from your side of the board. He did, and he's about to get some uh, some sad, sad news. Like. Even the Venture Co. has not been able to slow me down. Because I've had just enough mana to play to make the insane plays. Venture Co. Invincible. Like this is this is just one of those games where you on the other side are gonna feel mad about it, but you kinda have to be able to step back and be like, well okay, this Vicus asshole got all the best plays. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. Yep. At all of them. Well, let's have fun. We had fun. So yeah, okay. You, this... you win in that sense. And I got 60 gold for that. And I, I deserved 60 gold for that <laughs> oh. one right there. <laughs> that good. was... That was a... Uh, this is That's the hypothetical perfect situation that I want with this deck. See, now I'm seeing why I couldn't convince you to play Rogue back then. You had a, you had a quest! Yes, I have uh, a quest? two quests that are relevant for this. One of them is uh, well one of them was the shaman one which I've now completed and the other ones do damage or something like that. Hmm. The deal damage quest. I, it's either deal damage or play low value minions and I can't remember which. Well that would have popped up. I wasn't paying attention. It, it, one thing popped up. Also uh oh the mirror match. Hmm. Okay, the flame tongue's going back, even though we haven't seen it before. Um, hmm. I might actually be willing to keep the rest of this, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, these are all of our, like, well, lightning bolt and then our more marginal cards. I, think, I guess Jungle Panther's okay, I just Jungle don't Panther's really like good for... rolling them out. Yeah. I I actually am pretty okay with this because I'll have something to play on turns two and three. Yeah, we'll be able to uh, take out his um, what's its searing totem with our mm -hmm. death rattle. <laughs> yeah. All right, what you got, buddy? Out your oh dead. wow, you don't see that much here. Mostly because it's not a very good card. Um, oh, that's a constructed card. That's a constructed card. I'm debating coining into Crocolisk right here, and then playing Unstable Ghoul next turn. That kind of demands that he have a Death Rattle minion, and the Crocolisk can also like beat up totems. 
Yeah, so it's I kind of I like it as a turn one play. Yeah. You know, get get aggressive. We have a bunch of low of low cost shit. Eat croc. Now he's like, all right, I have this loot hoarder here. Or he's like, damn it, where are my loot hoarders? It's one of the two. No, it's uh, lightning bolt <laughs> and zombie chow right here. That's a hey. Money berserk is kind of good. It's time for this blood. I think we're gonna blast him though. It is especially good because it does force me to slow my tempo a little bit, but luckily we have the answer. Oh, and for the record, Zombie Chow is a really good card. Um, the nice thing here is next turn we can play Unstable Ghoul, and then we'll be right back on curve, and we have two of our best fours, so. I'm pretty happy with this start right here. Oh, hello, Stormforge Dax! Okay, this would be the time when top decking to use the second time would be too much to ask for, so. Um. Nah, wait until he pulls out his doom hammer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, so mean. Actually, the ghoul's kind of good into that, too. Yeah, I, I like the ghoul here, because it sort of forces him to wait. Slows him down. It also means that we'll be able to play the Dark Iron Dwarf next turn into the ghoul and do up to and do four damage if necessary. So this is this is a pretty this is still a pretty good position to be in. Yeah, Zombie Chow isn't good as an aggressive card, but it's really good for trading up and keeping good tempo on the board and letting yourself live until you get your Ragnaros and ten other ridiculous death cards. Ooh, his ancestors. They're watching over him. This guy is playing every possible Imani Berserker. Even the bad ones. <laughs> Even the bad ones. Um... Hmm. <laughs> like a fiend, you just get to kill it again if you want. Yep. Uh, so, I could lightning bolt it, but I think I'd rather Dark Iron Dwarf it. Well, I either lightning bolt and panther put four damage on the board, or I Dark Iron Dwarf uh, into and then smash the zombie into it and leave a 4 3 on the board. I actually like the Jungle Panther a little better because I don't have any fives right now, so I think I'm going to do that. It leaves a little more on the board for me, and I have two fours to play next turn. Yeah! That's some logic. I get the, uh, the ghoul damage. Yeah. yeah! Get that ghoul value in. I just hope he puts out something with four health this turn. Or a cold light oracle. Okay. I, I'm sorry. What? Oh, <laughs> th thanks. Yeah. For, uh, sure. Our cool cards. I mean, it's funny because I can't play either of those cards next turn. Oh. <laughs> wow. What is? I. I see you. I don't see you, but I see you. You know, the funny thing here is I don't have a good option. Uh, is is Sengen Shield Masa it's, not a good option? Yeah, I think that's the play. Uh, then the one question is, do I wait with the tiger or risk just getting... Eh. If I don't attack with it, it's going to get wrecked anyway. Yeah. It's a little I mean, bit safe behind It's a minion. You get to aim rather a lot of damage at your opponent's face. Yeah. It is behind a shield. And the same the same kind of things that could kill it in Shaman would be able to kill it anyway, even mm -hmm. if you leave it back. Yeah. So this is probably the best play. In a and perfect hey, maybe, world, no, I... He'll, he'll have, like... A three mana thing, and then also hex for Sinjin Shield Master, Cold Light Oracle into Shield Master, his face into the tiger, because he'll make the mistake of taking more damage than he needs to. Ooh. I figured it all out. I like the play. Good moves by him there. Eh, that too. Alright. It's a good card. He's a, he's a big man. Uh, oh, well, that's that's a top deck for the ages. 
Um, I think it's that and Razorfen. And then yeah. next turn, Should I play the Venture Co. or possibly the Frostwolf Lorelord, depending on how much of my board is left alive. Beautiful. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is good. I'm quite happy with that top deck. <laughs> I have been getting some <laughs> disgusting <laughs> top decks here. Yeah. Oh, someone, oh, QB Brian also pointed out that I could potentially do, uh, turn eight wolves and frost wolf warlord. These wolves stand ready. These specific wolves. These particular ones. <laughs> Whoa, uh, gold trier footman. Damn, he is Whoa. actually ready for action and hears me without even my, uh, fucking. Uh, fuck. I was gonna make a joke. Yeah, here's me without my Earth Shock for the Twilight Drake. <laughs> what is that on the board? I want to see the pick that led to that. Um, okay. Oh, what do I do here? This is actually interesting. Hmm. Like, I could Dark Iron. Tusker, and then Poke, but I don't really feel that very much. Um, I could actually run the boar into the footman, throw out a Dark Iron Dwarf, and throw that into the Unstable Ghoul. Yeah, I think I like that the most out of all of my options. Yeah, I don't really see a better one. I, am, I, I mean, I could throw the, out like, the Venture Co mercenary, which would force him to deal with it, but... Yeah. Yeah, he might choose to sit behind his walls and, and deal with your face instead. Exactly. Uh, next turn, I will be able to Feral Spirit Frostwolf Warlord, and that would be disgusting. Especially because I could potentially follow that up with a Venture Co. Yeah, if the 5 mana 8-8 eight, eight isn't enough, then we'll just have to settle for a 5 uh, mana 7 eight. He just... Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Sorry that happened. Oh, Someone does not know how that card works. Yeah, see, Battle Cry doesn't actually trigger... Yes, with... Battle Cry is specifically when played from the hand. Okay, I've, um... <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm still gonna go with the. F <laughs> wow, I that just I happened. suggest you crush your opponent. <sighs> yeah, they. This is uh, this is still the best play, that's... just because I don't have anything to deal with that Twilight Drake. <laughs> that's. Oh my god. That's fine. <laughs> that's unfortunate. I mean, that's just. But play yourself. He didn't know. He didn't know that the card worked that way. Because I mean. Moreover, like your your opponent's <laughs> sequence of plays was Goldshire Footman, followed by. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's still oh, a one like for one card trade because really... he gave it a taunt. Yeah, that was a bad series of cards, and I, I can forgive the newbie play, but he kind of uh, showed his inexperience here. Uh, NJ Sakura, he let me let me just uh, yeah, there it is. He used ancestral healing on the totem. Fuck, where did he do it? Yeah, on the. It was, there it an, is, Ancestral Spirit humans. on the Twilight Drake, and then rammed it into my Dark Iron Dwarf, which killed it. Hmm, hmm. <sighs> Annoyingly, I would have to pretty much sacrifice this big chufty dude to kill the thing, but then again, I have two big chufty dudes behind it. Right. So I would I think... roll for healing totem. Yeah, that's actually the best way to start here. Then C, okay. and if it's healing totem, Searing then... totem. I think I still might do it. Okay. He only has one card in his hand, and I have some fucking punches in my deck, so... Okay. Do we also play Venture Co? Yes, definitely. Yeah! So, like, I, I neutralize one of my possible killer, or give him the chance to neutralize one of my possible ones, because honestly, he only has two cards in his hand. There's a very high chance that he does not. Like, even if it's the word, even if it's like Lightning Storm, Ooh, I, we still yes, have a big guy. Oh, what did he do? 
A rock biter. <laughs> rock biter weapon. Of course. Beautiful. <sighs> um, I might just play one of the blade masters and totem up here. Uh, well, if he gets the spell damage totem, if he gets lava burst, that will kill my venture co. I wonder. So that might make mm, me want I, to play. I like dealing damage to to our opponent at this step. We. Yeah, I. That's way too far to go. I we have cards I can in take hand. Take chance, honestly. Let's, we're pretty far ahead. Oh good, now I have my own spell damage. What now, buddy? <laughs> what now, clown? He he actually had a pretty decent start, but those that that series of plays. Yeah, in yeah the it all it all just fell apart starting with gold chair footmen. Oof. Oof. It's like after that um, you have no cards in hand and we're even on board. Yeah. Let the and that's game, unless he can... Oh, what's his last card? What's his last card? Oh, okay. Slightly scary, but it does stave off lethal. Well done. And... Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's kind of a sad bloodlust. <laughs> that's super unfortunate, but it, it's enough of a bloodlust to stop me from getting from having lethal. Well... Um, it might just be fire elemental the totem, and then attack face, and let him grab two cards. Oof. I'd rather Oof. honestly hex his acolyte of pain since we have oh, the. Oh god, yeah. Let's just keep. Let's keep like, the chokehold the going. One way that he has to get out of this game is to draw more cards. Yeah, that's very true. In which point, murder. How are you doing? So you can see immediately why I was so happy to see it to have the Venture Co. Because when this thing does work, it does work. <laughs> he's, he's just unkillable. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Rip healing totem, but or rip searing totem. Oh no! Happens. Yeah, it, it took a damage off the board. <laughs> One damage. Uh. Uh, play 30 minions that cost two or less, and this is suddenly a three-win arena, wow.